Hi, this is Maddie from NNTV, and today I'm here at Fabric for the third annual tie-dye and bake sale. Let's go check out what they have at Station One. Here at Station One, people are setting up their clothing pieces with rubber bands to create a pattern for the tie-dye. This event attracts all types of artists. We talked to Sandy Dow to find out what brought her to the event. What got you to come out to this event today here? I was so I was just curious because I do a lot of fiber stuff myself, mainly sewing. And a friend told me about Fiber Arts Boston that had suddenly come to Newton as opposed to Boston and I thought wow this is cool I wonder what it's like so I decided to check it out and I gave them a little contribution because I wanted to support the effort. Very fun. So what did you tie-dye today? I did a t-shirt for my husband. Which Do you think you'll wear it? Maybe to sleep in. <laughs> We sat down with two of the event hosts to learn more about the connection between the event and Fiber Arts Boston. So we have lots of um, space for making things, uh, working together collaboratively. This is the biggest crafting event we have every year. And then we also have a very large uh, fundraiser every year. So coming up we have a tea party. We pay teachers to come and teach the classes. Uh, we use the money to pay rent mm -hmm. so we pay for the space we buy more materials and more equipment for the library it's a really nice community this event welcomes people of all ages as there is no limit to who can be an artist young anthony told us about his tie-dye experience so how many times have you tie-dyed before actually this is my first time this is your first time was it fun yeah what colors did you make your shirt um Yellow, teal, purple, blue, red, and accidentally black. At this event, everyone can be an artist. Visit www.fiberartsboston.org to find out more about the studio and how you can unlock your inner artist too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. This is Maddie from NNTV signing off.